Welcome to the insanity that is my failed plan to sell off Rocket. And also part 9 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, yeah, we need to escape Lady Hellbender's fortress before she skins us alive. Oh wow, that is very convenient. <laughs> This is the beginning of the point of the game where more humanoid enemies start to appear more often, and they can be separated into different subcategories too. Lady Hellbender's militia mainly features basic guys that shoot guns. They are not all that dangerous on their own. You can even set them up for a double team move if you're in hand to hand combat with them near one of your teammates. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. There are going to be snipers in this area, and snipers are pretty self explanatory. They stay in high locations and are generally hard to get to. A telltale sign of a sniper will always be a laser sight that lingers around. And sometimes there will be an explosive barrel next to them too, or at least it is the case for this situation. So, use that to your advantage. Later in the game you will get a weapon that will pull enemies towards you, making the snipers at that point a non-issue. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about this game. The subtitles say one thing, but somebody actually says something completely different. Like tradition and manner, that's not the same thing. Hell, sometimes the subtitles just straight up stop working after a while, in some situations. Boom! As you can see, these guys stand virtually no chance at all. You can pretty much bulldoze through this entire section with little to no problem. And expect a lot of ragdolling. The, the ragdoll physics in this game are pretty insane. And she certainly will not be the last. Even though she is a really dangerous opponent. Oh yeah, Lady Hellbender is very dangerous, by the way. Whenever one of your main antagonists in the game starts out as a, an incredible Hulk villain, you know you're in some deep shit. And I'm gonna talk about that in a moment because Lady Hellbender has a really interesting background in the Marvel comics. Samoan drop. <laughs> Samoan drop by Drax. That man is pretty much dead. By God, that guy had a family. But without me, you wouldn't be able to get through this door. Without you, we wouldn't be in front of this door. And without me, we would not be looking at this door right now. Anyway, the fortress mission will turn out different depending on who you sell. My choice, which is Rocket, will always end in a large-scale shootout, and Lady Hellbender will be pissed. But if you choose to sell Groot, Hellbender will be enamored by Groot's presence, since, you know, he's the last of his species. But you still have to negotiate to fully convince her. From there, the goal is to get Groot out in an almost stealth type of mission, or at the very least you ignore many of the shootouts with the standard enemies and go straight to the boss. Because in the end, Lady Hellbender will still find out that you're playing her. If you go with the Groot option, you won't get many of the collectibles of what happened there. <laughs> I guess I went out of bounds. But many of the areas and collectibles will be missed if you choose Groot. Now if you chosen Rocket, you get to go through all these areas, and fight the boss, but the mission will take 15 to 40 minutes longer. So pick your poison. Let's talk about Lady Hellbender. 
Her appearance in the game is unique, and having her as a somewhat constant threat to the Guardians is one of the game's many high points. Even though she doesn't have that much screen time by the end of it all, and she's also the villain to another hero, or at least she started off in another comic book. Margaret Hellbender made her first appearance in the Totally Awesome Hulk comic from 2015, a story in which the Incredible Hulk, She-Hulk, and Spider-Man had to team up against Hellbender's forces who was looking to capture the Hulk. So many Hulks in that sentence, so little hell to be raised. As you may know, the Blue Lady is a collector of beasts. She's scouring the known galaxy looking for rare and exotic creatures and either saving them from extinction or just using them for her own personal gain. Though clearly antagonistic, Lady Hellbender is by no means evil, and actually is very dignified and has a code of honor. She did come to an agreement with the Hulk to stop hunting him down after he decimated her forces. Because that tends to happen with the Hulk. <laughs> he, he just destroys shit. There was also another comic where she had an interest in Venom, or more so Eddie Brock because he was able to host the Venom symbiote without, you know, dying. I guess Hellbender missed out on Peter. Parker, not Quill. Um, anyway, she wanted to add Brock to her collection, but obviously Brock was not having any of that. So both the symbiote and Brock merchants of Venom, and the two of them fought Hellbender. There was even one point where Venom just straight up gets blown out of an airlock, too. I, I don't know. <laughs> it was crazy. Gratitude is not my current sentiment. All right, nobody's perfect. Some of us served a mad titan, and some went a little nuts hunting him down. And some of us get a little touchy being called worthless. You are not worthless, Rocket. But he's clearly worth less to Hellbender. She says she would have bought Groot. Groot ain't some piece of lumber you can hawk. Though I'm sure you got plenty of experience trafficking lies. Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> Groot says you can all go sit on a hot poker. Jeez, the characters fight a lot. Now's not the time for fighting. Anyway, um, back on my subject with Hellbender, she is a giant with super strength and super speed, and is able to fight on somewhat even ground with Venom, and is slightly weaker than Hulk. Obviously. But on the scale of the Guardians of the Galaxy, she can very easily kill us in hand-to-hand -hand combat if she wanted to. And this includes Drax. What we should have done is sold Drax. Hellbender was practically begging to buy an egg for big My gift is not for sale. The house pest still owes us 12,000 units. 12? How'd you get 12? It's a measure of my growing frustration. Well, take a deep breath, cause we're here. One vault as promised. And a giant locked door. Okay, so the reason why Rocket went kind of off script in the last part with the negotiations was because there's actually a vault in here. So we're trying to get that on our way out, even though that's probably the most dangerous thing you could do. But whatever, we're the guardians of the freaking galaxy. The Hell Racers will shatter into a million pieces if you attack them in their frozen states. And some Hell Racers will have shields that protects against your standard blasters, so you have to use your ice attacks for those guys. Come on, get them, Drax! Good job, Drax, that really showed Casper. What was he throwing at? Something about the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game is, sure, it's clunky, but whenever you're facing against humanoid enemies, it's serviceable. You have a five-hit combo followed by a knockdown smash. You can also use your dash to pull off a hit and run to trip an enemy up, or even use your tag team moves with one of the other guardians. That usually happens when you perform a combo finisher right next to your other teammates. Like, say, for example, I perform a combo finisher right next to Drax because that's probably my only example. I use this a lot. Um, he will perform an elbow drop after I uppercut him into the air. Groot will choke slam somebody down to the floor with his vines. Gamora will slash somebody in midair. And Rocket will just shoot somebody in midair too. And those are about the extent of the combo finisher tag team moves. It's kind of like Final Fantasy 15 in that regard. I almost said 16. I've been playing 16 a lot lately. That's a good game. Well, kill it more. Look on their faces when they see you razoring down from on high. <laughs> or the ones they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in a bar. I know. Bone. Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun. Well, okay. The guardians are actually positive for once. Let, let's keep it up. Yes. I 
forget that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Die, team! Yes! Great! Well, I actually got it for once in the early game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. The Guardians are happy, therefore they can kill with extra pride. Look at Groot go. Once you get used to the game's more realistic, stiffer... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say it's stiffer. More realistic, stiffer controls. This game is really fun. Guardians of the Galaxy is a blast to play. And what I noticed, too, is that there's no cover system in this game. There's no need for a Star-Lord to duck and hide behind walls and stuff like it's Uncharted. I'm adding to your debt for every extra minute this takes. Keep your manis on. You can't rush genius. All hell raises to the main vault. Or I could try rushing and hope for the best. Oh no, it's a big boy. This guy is not weak to ice or any other element for that matter, but you can freeze him. It just takes a long time. I need Muscle Man Drax for this. And Rocket's not in the battle for the time being, he's trying to get the doors open. So it's just you, Groot, Drax, and Mora against this big guy. Let's hope he doesn't have any friends. Oh, he has friends, of course. How come we don't have any friends? And no, the Avengers don't count. Ow! Can't punch these guys in the face, they're too big. Let Drax punch him. Because Drax is very punchy. When he wants to be, sometimes he just stands around. You're not doing anything, Rocket. You're just messing around with the door. And also, this big guy won't leave me alone. Look, I don't want your autograph. I know Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the most successful franchises of all time, but come on, seriously. And now that I'm thinking about it, Guardians of the Galaxy may be the best superhero trilogy ever made. First movie was great. Second movie was fantastic. Third movie was good. It may be the weakest in the trilogy, but I have to see it again to actually get my opinions on that. I don't know, third movies are always weird like that, where quality drops off somewhere. But Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is not bad. Honestly, I think the only three quote that can surpass the first two, or at least be on par with the first two, is Last Crusade. I know, I know, I said this before. Last Crusade, best three quote ever made. Back to the Future Part 3 also counts too. I like that movie over Part 2. But it still doesn't surpass Part 1. There are still corners in this circular room. Just look at the walls that are... Oh my god, Drax! You're killing me, man! You are actually killing me! is not the same. Guys! We need a plan! Agreed! My arms are growing moderately fatigued. Dig deep, Drax. Gamora, cover him. Rock and I will try to find something of value. Groot! Don't break anything! It's gotta be more than just junk in this skag That's right, we are pulling a heist. Rocky got his wish. Sort of. 
Anyway, try to collect as much as you can. There are plenty of galactic units and trinkets to be found in the vault. This will cover our fine at least. Why stop there? After all she put us through, I say we clean her out. What she put us through? Enough! Peter Quill. It's grown quiet. Quiet like peace and quiet, or like the grave sort of quiet? Definitely the grave one. Drax, please tell me you didn't just lock us in. I did not do anything. I'm almost impressed. The woodland creature has more bite than I originally perceived. Enjoy the contents of my vault, Guardians. They will be the last thing Peter. you ever see. Shame to waste my Clintarian gas on such unworthy do try not to melt all over my Kalaran skull. We need to find a way out. Now! It is both priceless and hard to clean. Deep breath, people! Anyone else feel burning? Like, all over? Clintarian gas breaks down organic material, leaving just a pile of sludge-covered bones. So let's bust our way out of here while we still have the organs to do it! This part, I don't think heads. it kills you to be in here. Because I spent at least five minutes trying to figure out what I was doing as well as clean everything out. And I'm still alive. <laughs> so either the gas doesn't really kill you, or it does kill you, and it just takes a long ass time to do it. And the way the characters are describing this gas is pretty graphic too. I want to see this death animation if there is one. So here's a crack in the wall, all we need is something for Drax to throw out the wall. Which begs the question, why can't Drax just brute force Kool-Aid man his way through the wall, but whatever. Yes, Gavar, we're still in debt! Oh, who am I kidding? We probably still don't have enough money for the Nova Corps shit. <laughs> They're gonna lock us up and throw away the key. There should be another set of galactic units somewhere nearby, as well as a collectible for Gamora. It's a wedding ring. I'm just kidding. In context, the ring is given to a person once they become an assassin. And if you choose to search your room for the ring, Gamora will talk more about it. I'm trying to find a throwable object or rock for Drax, but I can't seem to find it. Where is this thing? It's up above somewhere. Might actually be above the skull if I'm not mistaken. And Rocket will comment his smart ass remark of, huh, I never liked that skull anyway. It looks shitty. <laughs> yeah, good old Rocket. He's my favorite character in the whole entire series. And here's the ring. An assassin's ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. How long have I been in this freaking room for? And I haven't turned into orange goop yet? This gas is generous. This is a highly toxic nerve agent that will kill you in a manner of seconds. Alright, bet. If I die after 30 seconds, will that count as me winning the bet? That would be a very dark humor thing that Rocket would say. Or maybe even Gamora, shit. And I can't shoot that thing? Oh, well. Gamora, I need your lifeness. Think you could cut loose one of those lights? And Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was made worthless. Or even more worthless than it already is. Drax, I need your muscle! Quickly, before we get tanked. I'm surprised how long we were in that room for. The gas was draining my health constantly, but I didn't die. That was so weird. Maybe the game glitched out? Maybe? Anyway, I'll see you in part 10. Epithelial layer is intact. Rocky Groot, where are you? 
Does anyone see a way out? I see a bright light. Well, don't go towards it. Guardians of the galaxy. How many times do I have to kill you? Stall her, Peter. The audacity that you thought you could rob me. For the record, we weren't all on board with the plan. Thanks, Quill. Why not sell the clothes right off my back? Do you know what I did to the last people who thought I was easy prey? You let them go? I got nothing. We're trapped. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Man. 